The list of Sumerian kings describes how a group of enlightened beings descended from heaven to rule the earth. The total time of his domination, 242,000 years ago. How is that possible? The list of Sumerian kings is an archaic stone tablet written in the Sumerian language. It gives us the names and periods of reign of the kings of Sumer, a region that encompassed the space now occupied by southern Iraq. Compiled from several different clay tablets, the final part of the list of kings contains the names of rulers and cities historically attested. To the community of forbidden history, the first kings not tested on the list present greater interest. Who were the true gods of Eden? Also known as antediluvian rulers, the first eight kings on the list totaled a reign of 242,000 years, in a mythical period before the Great Flood swept the area. Scholars of the mainstream discard the existence of these lords and their impossibly long kingdoms, citing the fact that no archaeological discovery supports the unusual claims made by the stone tablets. However, the cuneiform words are there, after royalty came down from heaven, royalty was in Aradug, in Aradug, Alulam became king, ruled for 28,800 years. After the mandate of the first celestial king ended, the scepter fell into the hands of Alilangar, who ruled for 36,000 years. After him, it was Enmenluana's turn to sit on the throne for 43,000 years. The next five kings occupied the position for long periods of time, the shortest of which lasted only 18,600 years. The coming of the Great Flood, considered by some as a world catastrophe, put an end to the reign of the mythical kings. After the flood had ravaged and royalty had descended from heaven, Kish became the seat of royalty. Kish was an ancient city in Sumer, home to the first historically documented Sumerian dynasty. The kings of this dynasty had shorter realms than the previous ones, but they still extended far beyond the life expectancy of a human being in those days. The shortest reign belonged to Zamek, the son of Barcelona, who remained in power for 140 years. For a long time, historians agreed that these impossible deadlines were the result of fiction, their reigns and facts were hyperbolized to increase the meaning of the ancient Sumerians in the eyes of neighboring peoples. By documenting their extremely ancient history, they could place a legitimate claim to govern the lands. But most historians reject the existence of the Anunnaki, the sons of Anu. They also came down from heaven to fulfill their own agenda on earth. These beings had mastered space travel and although it is said that they came here from the 12th planet, Nibiru, their place of origin could have been in another part of the galaxy. We do not know with certainty how man came to this planet. Perhaps it is the product of evolution and natural selection. But if human beings were created by someone, there is room for the Anunnaki Genesis theory which states that man took his first breath in the laboratories of the Anunnaki Inki and Ninma geneticists. If these beings were able to manipulate and transform Homo erectus into rational and intelligent humans, it is evident that they were able to prolong their own lives. This could mean that the longevity of the reigns in the Sumerian kings list could be interpreted as a reality rather than a metaphor. As far as we know, these celestial beings could have been immortal or at least impervious to factors such as aging and disease. If they handled enough power to be considered gods, it is logical that they were immune to the problems that end with our short lives. There is always the possibility that we look for answers in the wrong places, and the list of Sumerian kings is half fable, half done. But in the middle of this controversial topic, one thing is certain, the history of our planet is strange.